Well, tonight, Fox Undercover has exclusive video that the MBTA doesn't want you to see. It's video from T-buses that shows everything from crashes to other onboard mishaps. Right. The MBTA tried to stop our investigative team from getting these videos, but then the Secretary of State's office stepped in. Our investigative reporter, Mike Bodette, is here with the video you're not going to see anywhere else. What do you have for us, Mike? Maria and Mark, hundreds of MBTA buses have cameras which are always recording and capturing some unusual images, including crashes caused by T-bus drivers. We first asked for copies of the videos last summer, but the MBTA refused to give them to us, citing concerns about people's privacy. So we appealed to the Secretary of State's office, the Supervisor of Public Records in Massachusetts, which ordered the T to hand over the accident videos from 2009. Step onto a bus in and around Boston, and the MBTA is likely watching you. Watching as a bus that did not maintain a safe following distance hits a car, sending passengers flying. Four of them went to the hospital. Watching as a car stops to let a pedestrian cross. The bus driver steps on the brakes, causing a child to hit his head on the rail in front of him. Watching as a woman with a cane gets up while the bus is still moving because the driver passed her stop. The woman falls down and then gives the driver, who says the buzzer did not ring until he passed the stop, a piece of her mind. And watching, as a man in a wheelchair tries to board the bus. The bus driver moves toward the back of the bus to make room for the wheelchair, while the man in the wheelchair gets onto the ramp and flips over. We have accidents every day. Sue Labassiere is the MBTA superintendent of training and bus operations. More than 300 T-buses are equipped with cameras, which record video from all angles, inside and outside the bus. We're shocked and surprised by some of what we see, but more by what we see from the public. A bus camera caught the drunk driver in this truck on video, crashing into a car, then hitting the bus, and finally smashing into another car. Then there's this video of a car from a driving school. Apparently someone's in need of another lesson or two. The car cuts off the bus and then stops in the road and the bus hits the car. Paul McMillan is the MBTA Transit Police Chief. Do the videos make it easier for you to identify who's to blame? Absolutely. We use those uh, cameras to see who was at fault in any accident. It's quite clear who's at fault here, as documented in the MBTA's own incident reports. A bus driver ignores the stop sign, blowing right through it. Then the bus hits the car it's trying to pass. And a double no-no here for another bus driver, who failed to stop for the stop sign in the station, and then failed to come to a complete stop prior to pulling out. Bad decision. The bus hits a car. And yet another bus driver who did not come to a full stop. Moments later, the bus hits the car. Is that acceptable not to come to a stop? No, totally unacceptable. And we do take action on those types of things. There were more than 2,000 T-bus accidents in 2009. 357 of them are considered preventable, meaning the bus driver is to blame. Any bus driver involved in an accident that was his or her fault is given a written warning. If someone has more than two preventable accidents in two years, the driver attends a defensive driving course. So you have to clear the back of the bus around the car. That defensive driving course includes time in the T's bus simulator. Why doesn't the MBTA just get rid of drivers who've had preventable accidents? Well, that does happen from time to time. Despite the more than 300 accidents caused by bus drivers last year, we discovered those drivers rarely, if ever, lose their jobs because of bad driving. Only one driver was fired for that reason last year, and only four were fired in the last three years. The T's bus accident policy allows drivers to have not one, not two, not three, not four, but five at-fault accidents in a two-year period before the T recommends the driver be fired. And while the T won't talk about specific drivers and their discipline, it's likely most, if not all, of the drivers in these videos are still driving T buses. Like the one here, who changed lanes on Route 93, but did not have enough clearance, according to the T incident report, resulting in a collision. And this bus driver, who did not stop when the car in front of the bus stopped. Should the public feel good about the people who are driving these buses? I think so. I think so. 
An MBTA spokesman tells us that T-buses make four and a half million trips a year and that 99% of them occur without incident. He also points out that the number of bus accidents caused by bus drivers has dropped every year since 2007. Maria? All right, Mike. So how long has the T been using these cameras? Well, it started using them a few years after 9-11, tapping into all that Homeland Security money that's available. There are also hundreds of cameras in subway stations, and the T is looking to add more cameras on buses and even on subway trains. Now, now, if you want to take a closer look at the video, go to our website. You can also find the backstory on that battle to get the video and check out an interesting email exchange I had with the MBTA while trying to find out exactly how many bus drivers have been fired for bad driving. Do you have an idea for a Fox Undercover investigation? We want to hear it. Call us at 1-800-TV-FOX-25. I'm Mike Bodette for Fox Undercover.